We talk to Dave. Where is Dave? I am right here, Shiloh, and we're talking about 2013, that it's almost over. We've had quite a year when it comes to news and big stories, and uh, here today to take a look back at the year 2013 in the world of news is Dave Yonkai from the Lulac Political Letter. Dave, nice to have you back on the show today. Happy to be here. Well, let's start with some of the big world stories. Um, obviously, number one is, is the Pope. We've had, heard a lot from the Pope this year. Well, that was incredible because we actually had a sitting Pope resign because he was tired. And it was a contrast between Pope Benedict and the new Pope, uh, Pope Francis. And stylistically, it was a big change for the Catholic Church because I don't think that you're gonna see a big change in doctrine per se, but you're gonna see more social activity from this new Pope. You see a lot of neat touches. We saw the little boy run up on stage with him a number of weeks ago, and just, uh, he seems to have that very personal touch. He has a common touch, very reminiscent of Pope John the Twenty-Third, very reminiscent of Pope um, uh, John Paul the uh, Second. So you're gonna see a lot of uh, media covering him because of the way that he touches people. And recently making big news was the loss of Nelson Mandela. Right, exactly. That's a big world story that people remember what Mandela did in terms of being imprisoned and then coming back and turning South Africa into a finally a nation of equals. Now I think one thing that everybody has an opinion on, the national health care rolling out. Uh, that has been quite the story, quite the controversy all year. It has been a controversy and you have to wonder how this thing did not roll out the way that it should have. I think that if I were the president or, or, or if I was an advisor to the president, I would actually have him sign up for the plan himself. But I think that they were very cautious because this is a big thing in terms of health care rollout. One of the problems with health care is there are so many insurance plans and you have to really wonder whether this rollout or lack thereof gave him a false start in his first year in his second term. A lot of people are saying that this has been a tough first term, like second term first year since Richard Nixon in 1973. Will his presidency recover? We don't know. Yeah, we'll see how this all pans out uh, as the health care law continues to get into effect here. And uh, as far as the state, we're talking about uh, the future of Governor Tom Corbett. We've seen a lot of the polls out uh, and they indicate that he is not quite popular. Popularity in the low 30s. Is Governor Corbett going to prevail? There were a lot of people in the year 2013 who were saying that perhaps he should step aside. The day after election in 2013, he came out, he said he's going to run. Dave, since 1946, we've had like an eight-year cycle of Republican and Democrats, and whether um, a Democrat could break the cycle against Governor Corbett is going to be interesting to see. All right, we'll see how that plays out in 2014. Locally, Musto and Mello, they top uh, kind of the uh, political ends. Of I like to call it the scandal residue because we had so many people indicted the last couple of years and gone to jail, and this is like the residue of that scandal. Senator Me uh, Former Senator Mello um, went to jail at the beginning of the year, came home in a halfway house in November, uh, you know, rolling out his sentence at this point. Uh, Senator Musto, former Senator Musto, uh, in, Ill, in ill health, there's a question as to whether he's going to be tried or not. Again, this is a scandal residue that is unfortunately still part of the political landscape here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Now, I know the building had a beautiful storied history, but those of us who drive in downtown Wilkes-Barre are surely glad the streets are open and the Hotel Sterling situation has been resolved. Well, the, the Sterling Hotel has been resolved. You know, in Wilkes-Barre, you have the uh, Sterling down, crime up, so it's a uh, mixed bag. But yeah, you really go over that bridge and there is like really nothing left and you have to really wonder what is going to be replacing it. But that is part of the skyline. It was a hazard and I think the flood of 2011, which you covered very well, you know, with being a weatherman, that, um, that really did it in. Yeah, I mean, it was quite, uh, quite shocking to see it come down. And like you mentioned, driving now across the bridge, the Market Street Bridge, and you have that bare uh, grassy field now is, is just uh, an amazing sight after seeing the Sterling there. For exactly. The There's no facade there anymore. Well, David, will you write uh, the LULAC political letter for those that would like to find out more about uh, your blog? Where can they do that? It's the LULAC political letter, www.lulacpoliticalletter.blogspot.com on Sunday. We are going to be announcing the women we love for 2013. One of them is your co-host, Brittany Sweeney. How about Check that? it out on uh, Sunday on LULAC Political Letter. Congratulations to Brittany Sweeney as uh, one of the most uh, influential women in news of 2013. Dave Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. Thanks so much for being on the show today. Very, pleasure. very happy to be here. Thank you. Right, pleasure. Back over to Shyla.